Yes guys, that's the truth about Islam. <clears throat> For 1450 years, been invading countries, taking the gold, taking the houses, taking the towns, taking the farms, actually taking their children. Yes, yeah, Islam has dealt in human flesh for labour slaves and sexual slaves for 1400 years. Honestly, it's despicable, isn't it? And they've been flogging this peaceful Islam nonsense because they've got to, they had to do something because they knew they couldn't overwhelm us militarily were too strong for that whereas all the early villages and all the early towns that we took were peaceful undefended towns there were a gang of barbarian thugs gangsters including Muhammad who murdered people with his own sword his own knife and they were mostly invading undefended naive towns that couldn't see what was coming the same way the US and the UK and France couldn't didn't see it coming don't be realize that Islam and the barbaric ways the greedy ways got all the way into France until a Catholic paid army under Charles Martel kicked their asses out in 732 AD and there were countless other battles in Spain to throw them out of Spain. The occup Islam occupied Spain for 400 years. And they were taking all their goods, taking all the nuns, gold, all the monasteries, gold, taking their kids. The lighter skinned kids were very valuable and they were selling them to old perverts. Don't feel guilty about the empire or a few things we've done wrong. Yeah, we have. But we haven't cut the dick and nuts off like 15, 16 million Africans, have we? No, because that's what Islam's done. And here and now, today, in the USA and Britain and France, all Muslim little girls are having their floozies, are having their beavers cut to bits in screaming agony with razor blades to make them pure, to keep them pure. But they can't wait to rape all our girls, dirty little sods. Yeah, ninety percent of Britain's convicted paedophiles of young girls, shockingly, all have Islamic surnames. So unless you're presuming that all the paedo all the Christian paedophiles have changed their name to Muhammad names, Muhammad-like names, that means that ninety percent of convicted, jailed paedophiles in the UK follow Islam, because Muhammad liked raping kids. Muhammad cut the throats of little kids and men thousands of them and his followers did he did the first few and he instructed his followers to do all the rest Islam was built on greed because we were a gang of illiterate Bedouin nomarchs they were a laughing stock of the Arabian Peninsula and this is the way they got back at everybody murdering them and stealing their town stealing everything and getting rid of their kids Islam's never been peaceful I'll put some links underneath, you can read about their mass invasions, their sex crimes, their female genital mutilation today. Better pay heed before it's too late, because bombings are going to become a weekly event, or a daily event in this country, and the USA, because there's so many disloyal, impoverished, resentful Islamists. Not all of them, some of them work in the NHS, they mind their own business, and they've turned their back on Islam, and they're fine. All of them that follow Islam to the letter follow all these bestial, honour based, disgusting ways. Like, they still wipe their arsehole with their left forefinger today in Britain, even in the curry houses, even in the pizza houses. I know, because I used to work, work in one. 